hi children now i would like to say how to draw the ray diagrams very easily and solve the problems in easy manner first of all take 11 cm of length of a line and find out the midpoint just at between 6.5 cm then take 2 cm and put a dot f again 2 cm put a dot 2f on the both sides f and 2f f and 2f don't get worry which was f1 and which was f2 and which was 2f1 and which was 2f2 so first of all arrange like this now let us take 1 again 6 5 4 3 2 1 i will explain what is this one is infinite two is beyond 2f 3 is at 2f 4 is between f and 2f 5 is at f 6 is in between p and f similarly here also in between p and f 6 at f 5 between f and 2f 4 2f 3 beyond 2f 2 infinite 1 so i am taking six places on the both sides now put like this 1 2 3 4 5 6 draw a line now reverse 5 4 3 2 1 you know pretty well that 1 is very smaller than 5 2 is smaller than 4 3 is equal to 3 4 is greater than 2 5 is more greater than 1 so what it indicates it is very easy to remember if you keep the object at 1 1 you will get the image at 5 you will get the image at 5 if you keep that object at the 2 object at the 2 you will keep the image at 4 if you keep the object at 3 the image form at 3 if you keep object at the 4 the image at 2 if you keep the object at 5 the image form at 1 so moreover you know pretty well one is very less than 5 means it is a dotted image smaller image equal image greater image very large image but all are these real and inverted so if object is kept at 1 the image format 5 is a dotted image real and inverted if you keep the object at 2 it is smaller image real and inverted if you keep the object at 3 it is equal image real inverted if you keep at the object at the 4 it is greater than the image the object image is greater than the object and real and inverted if you keep at the 5 object it is a very larger image real and inverted so it's it means that if you keep it infinite it forms at f if you keep it beyond 2f it forms between f and 2f if you keep it 2f it forms at 2f if you keep at the between 2f and f it forms at to beyond 2f if you keep at the f the object at infinite then what about the 6 it is larger image erected and virtual so from this table very easily we can solve the even the problems also let us suppose the object is placed at 20 cm and radius of curvature is 40 cm then we can say that the object is kept at focal length because radius of the curvature is 40 means the focal length will become 20 cm so if the keep object at 20 cm means it says that it is in the position of 5 it means that it forms the image beyond it as infinite so the image will be formed at infinite 
and real and inverted suppose that is uh, the focal length uh, the letter is suppose the focal length is uh, uh, 25 centimeters and object is kept, kept at 40 centimeters so 25 centimeters 40 centimeters means the object the radius of the curvature will become this is small f the radius of the curvature will become 50 centimeters so 40 centimeters between it is in between the 50 and 40 so automatically it is at the 4 so if the object is kept at the 4 the image format to 2 it means beyond uh, for 2f it is means uh, beyond the 50 centimeters so we can say that uh, you can imagine the where the object can be the, the image can be formed that is beyond the 50 centimeters in such a manner by using this table we can answer even the questions also now let us go to the how to draw the diagrams even in easy manner let us take that uh, suppose uh, this is the first uh, at infinite of course at infinite we can say that uh, there is only one one way that there is uh, the object the image is uh, formed at uh, f because uh, they are parallel lines and will uh, pass through the focal point so this is the first image there is no much uh, uh, what is called we can say that uh, importance now let us see that if the suppose the object is at beyond 2f beyond 2f let us suppose that object is beyond 2f then we know that beyond 2f means um, beyond 2f beyond 2f let us suppose that the object is beyond 2f now let us see that uh, the image will be formed because this is the second number so the image will be formed in between and f and 2 and moreover the image is smaller so we, this we know from the previous uh, topic we have learned that uh, see here if the object is uh, kept at to beyond 2f uh, the image will be formed uh, between f and 2f between f and 2f is the four number and moreover the image is smaller image so now draw the small arrow here and kindly remember that first draw one straight line towards the mirror uh, sorry lens and draw that line through f now draw the second line through o so they will meet at this point so simple parallel line to principal axis that has to be go through the f and touch this head and the second one is through p draw two lines one is this and second one is this this will be extended and this will be through the f it will be drawn they both will meet at the head but you have to make it first you draw the image then make them to be make it easy so don't get worry to keep don't get to forget to keep the arrow marks so arrow marks indicate that uh, the light ray tra traveling in that way okay now see this uh, if the object is beyond 2f the image formed between the f and 2f smaller image inverted and real image so we can write the properties one is smaller inverted and third one is real now let us come to the third diagram see this here also now put that uh, first of all let us see that uh, f to f f to f so now we are going to keep the object at 2f it means that we know pretty well object is kept at 3 2f means 3 the image forms at 3 so image forms at 3 and the image is equal image so so whatever the length you have drawn the arrow mark same length of arrow mark you draw here at 2f same process parallel line and cross line the parallel line passes through the f and the cross line also passes through the the head now they will meet at this point so this is the second diagram arrow marks indicate that 
like this. Yeah, so here also, image is real, equal, and inverted. Now, at f, 2f, f, 2f. So now, the object is placed at 4. If the object is placed at 4, the image will form at 2. It means, in between f and 2, you are going to keep the object. The image formed beyond uh, f, 2f. So see here, the keep the object here. And this is a larger image. So draw a little bit larger arrow mark. Same process, parallel line and passes through the F and this is the arrow mark passes through the like this they will meet at this point so keep the arrow marks so here also real inverted and larger the last diagram of course in the fifth diagram again f and 2f f and 2f now keep the object at f it means it is in the fifth place fifth place so image at 1 means infinite so it forms at infinite and very larger image it forms so let us see that same I told you this practice these two this has to be go through the F and this is extended like this they won't meet they will meet at somewhere at infinite so real inverted and very large so in such a way we can draw very easily get remember that when you are drawing the diagram first of all take the mirror when you are taking the object here draw two lines one is parallel to the principal axis another is crossing through the principal axis it has to go through the p and this has to go through the f so first if you form the image then you can make them the heads go through these two points so that you can draw very easily of course for the sixth diagram the same side the image will be formed so that is the reason same in between between p and f same draw parallel line so this you extend like this and you extend like this they will meet at a point and the form image formed at the same side so this is virtual erected and very large so in such a manner you can very easily draw the diagrams so if you have any doubt you please contact my phone number 800 826 4846